Right now at 6 o'clock, discovery material release. News 4 Jax has been sifting through these pages of documents and photos. Evidence in the murder case against a Neptune Beach teenager who was awaiting trial on charges he killed his grandmother. Police say 15-year-old Logan Mott stabbed his grandmother and shot her in the head last November, buried her in his backyard, and then tried to flee to Canada. Today, the state attorney's office released evidence uncovered by investigators. At 5, we showed you the autopsy report and what police say Mott told his friends about shooting someone. Now, we're learning more about his mental state. News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott joining us from the newsroom. Jim, you have been following this investigation from the start. And the evidence, Joy, that we're finding in all of this, it contains many clues as to what happened, including these letters that we found today of to Mott's dad, who's a corrections officer with JSO, and also to Mott's friends. The first letter begins with an ominous tone. Hello, Dad. If you're getting this, then something terribly wrong has happened to me. It goes on to say, I know I've been a burden in your life. I have caused many of your dreams to fail, but you pass those dreams to me. But if you get this, I'm very sorry to tell you I can't. The letter continues about how he loves his father, but then it goes on to talk to friends whose names have been redacted. It says, stay who you are because you're good just the way you are. Pain is temporary, my friend. Keep going no matter how hard it is. You may have the most important request. Continue my dream. There was another letter that was hard to read, and it rambled on. It says that he was a coward and screwed up badly and pushed his father's buttons. It says, I didn't consider myself a good person. Among other items released today are reports and interviews police did with Mott's friend and a school guidance counselor. One friend told them that Mott had a girlfriend and broke up after she accused him of rape. The school guidance counselor told detectives something very similar. She said Mott told her that his ex-girlfriend once accused him of striking her and sexually assaulting her. Now, Mott has pleaded not guilty to second-degree murder. I reached out to his attorney today, public defender Charlie Kofer, for comment. Now, he did call me back late this afternoon or texted back, and he basically said, he really can't talk about this, but we're going to learn more in court. And by the way, Mott is due back in court at the end of the month. Joy?